Hi, my name is Louis Kai. I'm one of the co-founders of Cosign AI. Um, I'm an ophthalmologist by training, but I have a subspecialty in medical and surgical retina. Today, I want to go through some of the most popular, what I call copy and paste ambient scribes. There are many of them out there, and so I want to see if they are ready for prime time in ophthalmology. AI medical scribing is a pretty crowded field. A simple Google search can show you that there are a lot of companies working in this space. We're going to evaluate these products based off three different methodologies. The speed, how fast was the node generated? The accuracy, how many mistakes were made? And the usability, how easy would this be to integrate in the clinic? And then I'll give an overall subjective impression. Let's start with the sample case. This is what I presented to all of the scribes. An 80-year-old female with right eye vision changes with the visual acuity of 2200 on the right, 2020 on the left. Right eye shows a chordal neovascularization of the macula. The left eye shows macular drusen. Uh, the diagnosis I made was wet macular generation of the right eye, dry macular generation of the left eye, the intermediate stage. I injected Advast on the right side, had the patient follow up four weeks for pre-authorization of an ILEA injection. And I also started this patient on A-REDS vitamins and encouraged the patient to stop smoking. So let's see how they did. Freed has a super clean interface. The font is very easy to read. It breaks down your note into the subjective, objective, the assessment, and plan. I honestly have no complaints with this note. It generated subjective plan uh, very nicely and also the objective as well. I, I loaded my custom template into here uh, and it was able to get it just right. Um, you don't typically say observed or presence. You just state the findings here. The visual acuity uh, right here on the right side, it was accurate. I got the Avastin, got the ILEA, got the smoking cessation. It did generate a patient instruction for me. Pretty easy to copy. I do like this formatting where you can format your note one time and you can teach the, the program to learn the format and then so in the future you can have a good note. So overall, pretty happy with that. So for Freed, the speed was a nine, it was very fast. The accuracy, I would actually give it a seven. When I first generated this note, it did uh, hallucinate Ilea as Lucentis, which is interesting. Those are two different anti-VEGF medications that are administered, but they're not really pronounced the same. And so there was some level of medical decision-making that went behind the scenes that changed the medication completely. So that gives me a little bit of pause. That's a not a transcription error, but seems more of like a processing error. Overall score, I have to give Freed an eight. It's fast and it's usable. Next, let's try Heidi. Heidi uh, did pretty well. It's a pretty clean interface. I'm not a huge fan of the font. Maybe some people think it's stylistic, but it's a little bit difficult for me to read. The vision, I said 2200, but it came out as 2100. And the posterior segment exam here is accurate. I was very impressed with the ICT-10 coding. It was able to separate exudative macro generation of the right eye and non-exudative of the left eye. So there was some work done there. The plan was accurate, Avastin, ILEA, and also encouraged smoking cessation. I would give Heidi uh, speed nine, accuracy eight. Uh, visual acuity got messed up there. Usability, pretty easy to generate ancillary documents. You can copy and paste, and supposedly they have a pretty good integration uh, feature with uh, EMR. Overall score, 8.5, and uh, easy to use fast, but also has coding that was pretty impressive. Nabla, you know, there wasn't too many options to uh, generate custom templates here. In their history of present illness, it did generate my uh, visions as numbers. Uh, that's a little bit wrong. The right eye and the left eye here put it all into the present illness, which is not that accurate. Technically, it should just be vision changes so that she has a chief complaint. Social history, smoking, good pickup on that. Plan here, injected vast in the right eye, followed in four weeks. Priyatha's ILEA, that, that's all correct here. It did get the ICD-10 code. They did say it's in beta mode, but it was pretty inaccurate. Just exudative on the right side and non-exudative on the left side. NABLA, speed seven, accuracy seven. Um, usability, a little bit difficult because of the inability to generate custom templates. Uh, overall score at seven, I think it has good intentions, but the performance is a little bit slow and a little bit lacking. Next, we have Athelis. Uh, the note that it generated here isn't 
quite close to really my custom template. They only had progress notes or soap notes. I chose the progress note to see how it would do. The visual acuity, again, their numbers since the clinical examination has kind of just thrown into the observations. The history should have been vision changes in the right side. The plan, I did get right, uh, wet macro generation, uh, left, dry, Avastin, ILEA was misspelled, and visual acuity, again, their numbers instead of actual Snell and visual acuities. Overall, not too great of a template there. It was slow to generate for the speed, accuracy, you know, vision misspelled, drugs misspelled, usability, not too many template customization, not a great user interface. Overall score, it's a five. I, would, I wouldn't use this. Chart note has a lot of features here. Here we have our note. It generated pretty quickly, had to upload the, the file and then process it. So a little bit slower than Freed. But overall, it did hallucinate 2100 instead of 2200. The visual acuity, no complaints of pain or discomfort. I didn't even mention pain or discomfort, a little bit of hallucination there. And uh, confirms uh, right eye, again, this is incorrect. Um, the examination is mostly accurate, but not really in the format that I would like. Uh, it did not mention the ILEA, which we wanted to pre-authorize. The left eye, I did say initiate AREDs. Overall, the UI here is pretty difficult to understand. You really have to hover over each thing and, and learn it. There's a lot of great ideas built into this. Uh, the ideas of snippets, which are kind of like smart phrases. And uh, they have leaderboards, they have a credit system. Uh, let's uh, give it a score. Seven, a little bit slow to generate the note. Accuracy, um, the vision was incorrect. Usability, not a really user-friendly interface. Overall, it doesn't seem quite professional. I think there are a lot of great ideas and I like how much they're willing to innovate in this space. Next, let's try a bridge. Uh, I got access to the pro version here. Cortical neovascularization here. Um, should be choroidal. This stuff really should belong in the physical exam. Left eye preauthorized ILEA. Maybe I misspoke there. You know, I think the bridge is misattributing right and left and not really populating the physical exam here into the physical exam. Those are, well, those will kind of dock it. So overall, what I have to say about a bridge is that it's pretty fast, speed about eight. It did make some mistakes. It didn't really put the physical exam in the right place. It said cortical instead of choroidal. Usability, there aren't really custom templates, but maybe they have it for their enterprise level customers. It's a beautiful interface, it's very polished, but there are some interesting errors that it makes. When I first generated this note, it said cordial uh, in one place and choroidal in another place. So there is some medical decision making happening in the background. It's just, I wonder if it is uh, affecting the hallucination rate at all. Finally, I have to use our own ambient scribe at uh, Cosine AI. This is the voice recording we did. We were able to accurately get a subjective here, the objective 2200, 2020, able to get the exam uh, located for the macula accurately, able to get ILEA correct, and able to get Avastin here, AREDS, encourage smoking sensation. Don't have the coding feature built into the ambient part yet, but overall, this is a pretty clean note. I'll have to say, uh, the speed's eight. We did generate under uh, one minute. Regenerating the note, if you wanted to add more information, it's a little bit slow. Accuracy, very accurate. We didn't hallucinate anything. Usability, I have to give it a nine. There are fully customizable templates, smart phrases that you can use. So if the note isn't exactly to your liking, you can keep editing that template in order to get it perfect every time. So overall, I have to give our ambient scribe uh, 8.5. Getting things wrong, even one to 2% of the time, has consequences. Getting a visual acuity wrong or getting a medication wrong can have significant impacts on the decisions that we make as ophthalmologists. It's important that we carefully test the accuracy of the ambient scribes that we use before we implement them in our clinic. At this point, it's probably better to lean on the more accurate side of things than the more quick side of things. If you would like to try our Ambient Scribe or some of our other products in your own practice, just leave a message for us and we'll get in touch. In the meantime, you can check out our website, Cosine AI. This is Louis Kai signing off.